Hello world. It's Mr. Resistor here. Continuing our Alpha New Bro experience. And uh gonna be another quick one today, because we're running up on server shutdown. Just got the uh notice for that. Um unfortunately another late day. Had a bit of a scare with my uh computer overheating and uh, just ran terribly for hours until it finally crashed uh, and then I figured out what the problem was but anyway we're all good now and uh, <clears throat> so our reward today uh, login reward we got this uh, cerebral accelerator which um, I believe we talked about these in a previous episode, but uh, essentially they give um, a boost to skill training. While we're in here, I just realized I got a couple of uh, <coughs> cybernetic implants that I haven't Put in so let's go ahead and put those in as well again again All right so these will um, so the green is perception and the uh, yellow is <clears throat> social um, so these will uh, speed up our training for all of the skills that are related to those. Um, so the limited uh, gives a one point bonus. Um, uh, normally available ones go up to plus five. Um, there are some named sets that may give higher bonuses. I'm not, I'm not super familiar with those because uh, I've never had that kind of money. Um, <clears throat> but um, this uh, cerebral accelerator for the next almost three days. Mm. Yeah, just shy of three days. Gives us a three-point bonus to uh, all five of our stats. So that's pretty cool. Um, usually, uh, you don't want to save these because normally, yeah, maximum pilot age, 45 days. So usually when you get these, you want to use them right away. Um, all right, and it's a skilling spree day, so that means we need kills. Um, so I think mm, this one does not give kills. So, but this one does, and this will close out our um, enforcer career path. Drive active. Oh. We probably could have left that stuff in the station. Oh well.
drive active. Alright, so you might notice um, that I'm kind of cloaked right now, and this is always the case when you first jump into a system. Um, this timer right here, the blue one, uh, tells you how long you're going to be cloaked. That just kind of gives you a minute, literally, to uh, look around and get your bearings. Uh, before anyone else knows you're there. Um, and of course, you lose it as soon active. as you start moving. There are a lot of things that you are not able to do while you're in that state. Um, that can include like activating various modules and stuff. So. Um, something to be aware of you know if you've just jumped into a system and you can't do something you wanted to do right away it's probably why Orb drive active So, again, taking a look at our damage, we're taking explosive, electrical, and look like the, occur the occasional thermal, but mostly explosive and electrical. Shields are weak to electrical, um, so if you're gonna get um, specific uh, harden, uh, shield hardeners or shield amplifiers. Um, a lot of times the uh, good strategy is to, as they say, plug the EM hole or uh, strengthen your shields against electrical damage. Um, <clears throat> in our case, of course, we are not buying stuff uh, right now, so we're just taking whatever we're giving. <clears throat> uh, but once we are done with the career missions, um, we'll want to fit uh, probably two ships. Maybe three. Um, in the short term, two. And that, uh, with real fits. And that'll be uh, this ship, our slasher, for doing uh, security missions and uh, our venture for mining. Um, we may. Well, eventually we will. Uh, fit a probe um, to 
to do scanning and uh, data and relic sites. Um, and maybe also a hauler, although uh, for the most part, other than um, shield and cargo expanders, um, I don't typically put that much thought into hauling fits. Um, <clears throat> Because for the most part, I don't, I don't do that much hauling that is at risk. Um, yes, you can get ganked in high sec. Um, that's relatively rare in mid matar space, um, as long as you're. As long as there's not uh, some kind of an event, um, you know, a lot of the events have those uh, routes that you're supposed to take, um, and sometimes people will camp uh, gates on that route or the uh, beacons, um, and try to gank in those locations. Um, but other than that. For the most part, if you're not near Jita, which is considered the main trade hub for all of EVE, um, you're going to be fairly safe. Um, now, definitely, someone's going to disagree with me on that, and that's fine. Um, if you decide not to take that as advice, I certainly won't be offended. In fact, I probably agree with you. Um, I'm just saying that's how I live. Um, I do have a few exceptions. I have a, I have a character that is dedicated to hauling. Um, I have a prowler, which is the Min Matar blockade runner. Um, which I did actually put a fair amount of thought into the fit of that ship. Um, recently acquired a uh, Mastodon. Um, which I have put some thought into that fit. I'm not I'm uh, less confident in what I came up with on that one. Um, and, you know, fitting really is kind of an art form. Uh, and I definitely don't consider myself an expert. Um, there are certainly other channels that do put a lot of thought into it. Um, Hateless Gaming is one uh, that I like a lot. There are a few others, but I'm blanking on the names of those channels at the moment. Um, that are worth looking at um, if you want to learn more about fitting. And of course, you know, there's also just playing around in the fitting tool and seeing what you can do and what you're able to achieve with it. And how much it costs. Because, <laughs> uh, of course, uh, a fancy, fancy fit doesn't do you much good. You can't afford to buy the parts.
man. Looks like space is screaming at me. The weird sound effect. Good here. So I got some mostly just got some base plasma, that's cool.
Oh, EPS Gaussian. That's the, um, when I can't use Tech 2 <coughs> mining lasers, this is the one that I usually go for since it's got better range. I believe, uh, maybe we can reach out to 16 uh, kilometers. Whereas most of the other are uh, 10 or 12. I want to say 10, and maybe it gets up to 12 with some of the um, <clears throat> expedition frigate bonuses. Might be wrong on that. Drive fun how that one pulse of the uh, micro warp is enough to make us overshoot our target from 20 kilometers. So we'll activate that uh, <clears throat> shield hardener, and that should reduce our incoming damage a little bit. We'll maybe get some more enemies after we blow this up, but I might be remembering wrong. I'm of course saying that mostly for myself, because all of you are probably smarter than me. We can deactivate that, save ourselves some cap. Not that it really matters, as long as we don't have uh, more 
enemies coming in. Here we go. Orb drive active. Drive active. Drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Forget, let's go ahead and empty our cargo, let's stack everything, and then uh, I think we'll put the rest of our EMP ammo in the hold. And let's see what else we got. All right, so we destroyed 100 enemy ships, salvage 50 wrecks, complete mission 10 of the career track, ooh, and we got some skill points. All right.
So let's see. Uh, we got jury rigging, which I believe we already. Do we already have jury rigging? I don't remember. of these will be saved for later. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so jury rigging <clears throat> helps us fit uh, well, jury rigs. Um, and acceleration control uh, well, let's go ahead and let's see. So rigging uh, jury rigging is our base skill for this. Um, let's go ahead and train that up. Yeah, we'll go all the way up to three. Um, you need to have three in order to inject some of these other uh, rigging skills. So what rigging does is um, rigs are what go in these slots right here and they'll usually give us uh, you know a little bit of a trade-off like um, uh, maybe a faster reload times or or uh, more damage, better optimal range, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, there's rigs for pretty much all categories. The main thing that you won't see rigs for is um, for uh, regular mining, although there are rigs for uh, ice mining. Um, but other than that, you have rigs for just about every other category of of uh, module that you might want to fit. Um, you know, and a lot of times um, there will be some kind of a trade-off. So, like, um, I believe a lot of the missile-related rigs uh, it, um, they reduce your CPU or increase the CPU use of your uh, missile uh, launchers. I don't remember exactly which, but um, but yeah, um, they can they can be a really important part of fitting your ship. They can, you know, um, they can also increase the amount of CPU or power grid that you have available. So uh, you know, they can be and that's that's a critical part of uh, fitting your ship. So um, what the rigging skills do for the most part? Uh, let's see. Most of these, um, yeah. Reduction in hybrid weapon rig drawbacks per level. So, um, <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and look at projectile weapon rigging. Required for. Right, so uh, what's a uh, is it the metastasis adjuster? I don't remember which one this is. Um, ah, for producing them. So the uh, metastasis adjuster. Increased tracking speed. Right, so you're more likely to hit your targets and therefore more likely to do damage. Very useful rig for projectile weapons. Uh, penalty. Uh, using more than one type of this module or similar modules may that effect, let's see, will be penalized. The drawbacks of fitting this rig may reduce by... Oh, right. No. Okay. 
negative effects. Increased power grid need for projectile weapons. Um, so they'll track faster, uh, but they'll be a little bit harder to fit because you need more power grid. Um, and there is a Tech 2 variant for this. Um, so if we look here on the attributes, drawback is 10%, so that would be reduced by, what, 1% per level of projectile weapon rigging. All right, and the tracking speed bonus is 15% pretty good um, especially when you get into <coughs> larger weapons um, which can have really slow tracking speeds so you can have uh, a lot of difficulty with damage application especially against smaller faster ships um, so the uh, rigging skills really good to have um, the other one we got was, I believe it's under navigation, acceleration control. Um, so more efficient use of afterburners and micro warp drives. Uh, bonus to the speed boost. Excellent. So this is, uh, if I recall correctly, considered one of the Magic 14. Right? No? Uh, no, because it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect fitting. Um, but it is very generally useful because afterburners and micro warp drives are, um, other than weapons, maybe the most common uh, modules that you'll fit. Um, so we'll stagger this a little bit. So I've got some reasonable training times yeah all right and that's gonna be it for me for today because it is way past my bedtime um, so until next time, have a good one.